I'm actually just on my way out, but I wanted to grab five or 10 minutes just to talk to you about a really important subject because something's been talked about a lot on YouTube recently and it's made me want to talk about my career on YouTube a little bit more and share a little bit more of my story and how being a content creator for almost 10 years has actually affected me and my lifestyle. Before I do that, and it is a very serious subject, so do stay tuned. I just wanna show you this very quickly. This is just a little bit of a sneak peek. My passion is for creating video. My personal passion, what I love spending my spare time doing, is both enjoying the watches in my collection, uh, also enjoying new watches. This one was just delivered and reading about them as well. I just love it, absolutely love it. So this is from Nizumi Studios. This is their Voiture, or I can't, I can't even pronounce that word, Voiture, first edition chronograph. It's limited to 350 pieces. Now this isn't gonna be a full review, I just wanted to show you it because it only just got delivered. Look at how this is presented inside the case. And I just love it, I absolutely love it. I had a little look earlier, absolutely gorgeous dial on it and I can't wait to sort of wear it very carefully. I always treat these things with uh, sort of cotton gloves or kid gloves, I think the saying is. Uh, I will look after it, of course, because this is only on loan to me, but I'm gonna be bringing you a video about this very soon. So this is something I really love doing. I love looking at new timepieces. Anyway, back to the important subject, and it sort of revolves around uh, boyfriend versus girlfriend, or BF versus GF, or Prank versus Prank, which was their other channel. And this is a couple of channels actually run by two people, uh, Jesse and Jennifer. And I must admit, the Prank versus Prank channel, I didn't really watch. I may have watched one or two videos actually published to that channel. The channel that I really enjoyed was Boyfriend versus Girlfriend. It was full of energy, it followed their sort of daily life, their daily routine, the adventures that they got up to, and it was just very engaging to watch. I don't watch many YouTubers, but the ones that I do have to be engaging to capture my attention. Now, just recently, I was really shocked, actually. They made a video that was very emotional. Um, it did even bring a tear to my eye, and they announced that they were taking a break from making videos and very sadly that they were taking a break from each other as well. Now, what this means for the future of their channels, I don't know, I've got no idea at all. What it means for them as in individuals or as a couple, if they potentially get back together, I've got no idea. And I sort of don't like it too much when people analyze other people's relationships, but it's going to happen when couples put their daily life online and the pressures of doing a video every single day is hard. I do that myself. I don't record my daily life every day. I do the occasional vlog style video, but for the most part, I publish a technology review every day. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit how that affects me, but also a little bit more about uh, Jesse and Jennifer and how that must have been so, so hard. They said that during their career of making videos online and sharing it with everyone, they found that they were doing things for the vlog. They were doing things just to be in the video or just to make an interesting video for us to watch. And that's reality, that's, that's quite hard to take in because I watched them for a good few years and I didn't even at one stage think, hey, they're going on this trip or this holiday just to record it for the video. They didn't really want to do it for themselves. And when that rang home with me, I thought to myself, wow, I've been making videos for 10 years. And okay, they're not about my personal life. I have shared aspects of my personal life with you, but I've dedicated that time to making content with you because I love it. I absolutely love talking about technology, about my passion for watches, and about the other things I'm passionate about. And thankfully, I've never made a video and done something in my personal life 
just to make a video and share it with you. I've all, always kept those things very, very separate. And that must put a great deal of pressure and strain on couples that do daily videos or daily vlogging. I have tried daily vlogging myself and, and it's so, so hard. Now there is another channel that I watch quite regularly as well and that's Pointless Blogs, and that's Alfie Days and Zoella. I think it's Zoe Sugg. Yeah, Zoe Sugg. And I read recently that they experience a lot of problems with parents driving their kids up to their house and actually propping them up on the wall so that they can look into these guys' house. Now, yes, I know when you get famous, you can expect a certain amount of your private life to be difficult but that is absolutely crazy absolutely crazy i just couldn't imagine what sort of stress that can put on somebody you have to be very very strict with the way that you handle things like that for it not to send you sort of insane now going back to my story a little bit i do vlogs from time to time i share things with you when i go out on a, a trip when i'm not in the studio like i am today and whenever I do that, a lot of you ask, well, where's your family? Why is your wife not in the videos? Why are your children not in the videos? That's because I think I have to give them that choice. I have to give them that decision as to whether they want to be in the public eye. And I don't mind it. I've got totally used to it. I don't mind being recognised, which happens from time to time. I, I just don't mind it at all. I, I've made that choice to have this YouTube channel and to share the content with you guys and girls. But they haven't. They didn't sign up for it. So I've left it entirely up to them. Now, both my son and my daughter have appeared in the videos from time to time. My wife hasn't. She's very shy. She doesn't want to be on YouTube. If and when she decides that she wants to change that, then fantastic. She can appear in some of the videos. But I get those questions asked regularly. And I just hope that you can understand that I totally respect them as individuals and, and their wishes, and that's why they don't appear in the videos. And I think the whole uh, sort of aspect of my videos would be very, very different if I shared with you everything that I do on a daily basis. Um, most vloggers only share the good things. Some do share the trials and tribulations of life as well. I choose not to do that. I think if I started to share a lot, lot more in a daily video things would change a lot and i don't know if that would be a good thing so i think going forwards the way that i plan to do my content is when i go out for an outing for myself or i go to visit somewhere or i go on holiday or something interesting happens that i think would be entertaining and interesting then i will do that but i have to think of my family first. Family, health, then comes work, making money, paying the bills, all those other things. And of course, my content is so, so important to me. This is my career, so it's very important that I make content that's engaging, but it won't necessarily be the private things that I keep for myself and for the enjoyment of my family. Just going all the way back, let's go full circle to what I started off talking about at the beginning of this video. My very best wishes go out to uh, Jesse and Jennifer. You must be having a, a really hard time because this is happening in the public eye, so you must be inundated with questions. I know that you'll make the right decision, and it really just does go to show how powerful and how captivating the internet has become. I find it really hard seeing people not being able to uh, break off from the internet. Uh, that's one of the things I find really hard. I, I make content that I want people to watch, but at the same time, when I go out for a meal and I see the couple sitting around the table and the kids are on their smartphones and the couple aren't even talking to each other, they've got their smartphones in their hands as well. That's really quite sad to see because I think there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time and a place for the internet. There's a time to turn off the screen and look at somebody and chat to them and engage with them and socialize and not be on YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, Pinterest, 
all these other sites. So do bear that in mind. See, now that is real life. I had a delivery come in. Now, where was I up to? I think I'd more or less said everything that I wanted to say. So I'll leave it at that. I'll finish the video now. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'd be really interested to hear what you've got to say on the subject as well. So please do leave some comments below. And as always, hit that like button. Please do share this video. I'd be really interested to get the comments going on this because it's a very interesting discussion to have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.